My friends, I'm so happy to be speaking with you today. It's important for me to know that we're all together in the same effort, united in God's love and in our commitment to bringing about God's kingdom during this time, wherever we are. <clears throat> I recently stared down into the sea one day and I became transfixed by the plants underwater, all going in the same direction. When the current came, and it, you know, the wave came, all the plants went this way, then they all went this way. And it reminded me of Our Lady's relationship with God the Father. She served and existed in constant resonance with the Father's providence and the Father's will. Truly, I believe that God's kingdom came through her in what would have appeared to others to be an effortless way. And yet we know she engaged with real life and she suffered. And so what does that say to us? Well, I think that we are suffering together uh, a period of attrition in our Catholic faith. Um, even before the virus came, many of us would have said our faith communities were struggling. Um, we can ask ourselves, what, what were the highlights for us of, of our participation in our parishes and our congregations? And some would say, well, I could see God's kingdom coming in Taco Tuesdays, in support groups for single parents, in men's gospel reflection groups, um, uh, grief, grief groups, uh, anywhere that God's children were experiencing a need and the faith community served to respond to those needs. That's God's kingdom coming. That's what is exciting. Now here at the Apostolate, we experienced this time of, uh, of uh, you know, I'm not even going to use the word, but uh, let's say a different word, of restrictions and isolation. And uh, we just, hopefully, like the plants in the sea, change direction. The Spirit is always looking to proclaim the gospel message. And so we started the online groups, which have, you know, been marvelous. Now, if you are struggling with disillusionment about our, our religion, our, our, you know, um, if you've been uh, discouraged or anything, the response should be to get busy, be part of the solution. Let's all of us in this apostolate keep our eyes on divine providence and be utterly responsive to who around us God wants to love. Um, remember, love is, wants to go somewhere through you in every single day. Love wants to flow out. Uh, God fills us up, we experience God's love, and then we allow it to flow out through us. The work is always available, the service is ever-present, and God is with you. God loved you into being, and he loves you right now. And that is the message that everybody needs. You know, I often say that you cannot separate sheep who are directly connected to the shepherd. And I think many of you are probably wondering, why does she keep saying that? Well, I'm saying that because, like Our Lady, uh, if we are praying in a way that's authentic uh, to the real God, I mean, God himself, the creator, we will all be on the same page. The problem can come when people are praying to like a notion of God. How, how do we know that? Well, God's kingdom does not come through them. Something different comes. When you see coming from someone division, um, distrust, and that disillusionment, you, we need to look at that. Um, if someone is serving towards unity, promoting unity, certainly under our Holy Father, and um, willing to adapt our faith expression for 2020. Well, that encourages me. I love to hear when someone's talking about how we are serving now, and not how it was done better in 1950 or in a different time. This, it's all pre always present. 
God's uh, grace is always happening now. It's always in the present, not, not in the past. So what am I saying? I want to thank you for serving alongside us. I want to thank you for all of the wonderful graces that are going out to people you'll never meet because you are helping us and serving alongside us. I want to thank you for your courage and your willingness to um, remain faithful to God in, in the volumes and in his wonderful um, revelations that he has given us to use in this time. God bless you, my friends. We will always be together in the spirit, and we'll keep you up to date on how we can stay closer together in the next few months.